talked about ionic bonds. Now let's talk about covalent bonds. And a covalent bond is when two atoms share one or more pairs of electrons. And it generally occurs between two nonmetals. And whereas ionic bonds tend to form between a metal and a nonmetal, or certainly the metal cation is what you're looking for. The only other thing that can be at the beginning of an ionic compound is the ammonium ion, NH4+. So an ammonium or a metal cation, then the other one will be either a anion or some sort of anion made out of nonmetals. Now this is two nonmetals. We've talked about naming of compounds with nonmetals before. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to talk for a couple minutes about this picture of this graph right here for the formation of a covalent bond between two hydrogen atoms. And this axis here, the y-axis is energy, and the x-axis is internuclear distance. So basically, when they're far apart, the internuclear distance is farther apart. When they get closer together, we get closer to this zero point. Um, two other things. So energy over here, we've also talked about this. When energy is positive, that means that it is an endothermic process. How that shows up here is between two atoms is that when you're above this line and it's positive, that's going to be a repulsion. So they're not attracted to each other anymore. And if there's a negative, that's going to be an attraction. Okay. And what happens is this is hydrogen. We can imagine taking a hydrogen atom plus a hydrogen atom, and we're drawing Lewis dot formulas here, and putting them together to make an H2 molecule. And so when we're way out here at large internuclear distance, then there's no attraction, no repulsion. That's what this zero means. And as you bring these two atoms together, oh, let's see, there we go. As you bring these two atoms together, what you can see is that there will be an attraction as they get closer together. And then at some point, there is a minimum in energy. And we're calling this the equilibrium bond length. You can see it says attraction and repulsion there. I just noticed that. Um, so these two hydrogen atoms are attracted to each other and they minimize or they maximize the attraction. They minimize the energy between them at here. And that's the bond length or the bond distance. And then if you continue to take them closer together, then they start to have less attraction and eventually repulsion, because really as you get them down very close here, you're bringing together two nuclei. And nuclei, so I'm gonna write here, bringing together two nuclei, which of course are both positive, and those are going to repel. So the repulsion is because you've got the uh, nuclei too close together. And so this is, so if the question is why do covalent bonds form? The answer is because the atoms in covalent bonds have less energy than when they're separated. So if we imagine two hydrogen atoms very far apart, we bring them together to form a bond not too close, they lower their energy. And the exact same way that a ball will roll down a hill, it is going to a lower energy place. So what is a covalent bond? A covalent, oh, you can't see that. What is a covalent bond? A covalent bond is a, um, basically it's two atoms coming closer together to minimize their energy. So let's call this two atoms coming closer together to minimize their energy.
And that's also why a covalent bond forms, because the two atoms minimize their energy, um, I guess we can say, uh, and maximizing their attraction, attraction It's another way of looking at it. Um, so, and really our picture here is that if we have a hydrogen atom with its nucleus, and we know that, so this is a hydrogen atom, and it has 1s1, so there's a nucleus, and there's an electron in this space out here, so I'll just draw it somewhere out there, or actually, I'm gonna draw it over on this side which will make sense in a minute. And then another hydrogen atom with 1s1. And the nucleus, remember, is plus one. And what's really happening is the electron is attracted to the other nucleus. So that's what I'm gonna, so the electrons are attracted well, they're attracted to their own nucleus as well. That's why they're part of this atom. But they're also attracted to the other nucleus, to other nucleus. And so that's why as you get closer and closer together, there's more attraction until the nuclei get so close that their repulsion starts to be the main thing going on. All right. Um, and then... So as we bring these two together, the electrons can feel the other nucleus more and more. That's why the energy is lower. Okay. Um, and then other points I wanted to make. So uh, in a co what is a covalent bond? In a covalent bond, both atoms count the shared electrons in their octet. Both atoms count the shared electrons in their octets. Or for hydrogen, which is like helium, it's duet. It's duet of electrons. So that's a little more information about a covalent bond.